Today I'm going to uncover all the mysteries buried inside this park. But some mysteries will go undiscovered, like how do I open this vent cover up? Bongo fine! I'm finally back after uh, a few hours at this park. Uh, as you can see, it was freaking cold this morning. And that was actually part of my strategy. Uh, every time I come to this park with the intent to metal detect, all of the kids are just climbing all over the playground. In those moments, I went out and uh, I shared with you the last time I metal detected the fields at this park and uh, wasn't quite as successful as I wanted to be. Where I really wanted to be was at the sandy area of uh, the park around all of the big equipment. That's where all the people are. That's where the parents are running around chasing all their little kids. And I know that's probably where I'm gonna find the treasure. I waited for it to get really cold and uh, came out here as early as I could because I knew with the wind and the cold and the time of day, nobody was gonna be here and I was right. And uh, so that allowed me the opportunity to have full access across this park. So that would be some advice I would give the rest of you. If you're, if you're at my level of metal detecting and you wanna detect a park, Early in the morning, really bad conditions. Little bit of a juggle trying to film at the same time I was focusing on my recoveries. And to be honest with you, I didn't have a lot of luck right away. Um, I did manage to set up this uh, wide shot uh, and capture the moment, the exact moment when I found my first coin at this park. It ended up being a, a Jefferson nickel, uh, 97 I think. and. I hadn't been finding really anything, any signals to dig on until this one, and I was stoked. And so that moment caught uh, the moment I was on the coins. Uh, I kind of had, uh, I know that uh, when it comes to coin spills, if you find one coin, you're probably going to find two coins, three coins, four coins. You don't usually only get one coin back in change. So the opportunity to find a lot more in that area, I know is higher. So once you find one coin, keep looking. And that was the case. So it didn't, uh, it kind of happened once I put the camera equipment away, I was able to just focus on my recoveries. And uh, I did manage to capture a couple of them here with you of uh, just certain moments when uh, I could bring the camera out after I was able to pull the dirt out and go at it with the uh, pointer. I'm using a uh, Garrett Pro Pointer AT and uh, really good, really solid pointer. Uh, it's the first pointer I've used, but I would have no reason to replace it. So that's about the best review I can give something is uh, that it does the job that it was intended to do. So just check out what I was able to recover from this park. All of these finds were from the sandy area around the playground equipment. What I like about this area is most of my experience is at the beach and the beach is sandy. I brought my beach scoop and I was able to uh, basically just run the beach play. I did run into a challenge. So I've got some growth opportunity. I need to learn how to notch out some of that uh, the iron at the playground because there's about a four foot halo that goes around each post that I was really struggling with. Uh, certain areas I would have liked to uh, really get into was underneath the swings. And I wasn't, uh, I need to go back and learn my equipment a little better. I was not able to notch out the uh, signal from the equipment. And so that prevented me getting into areas like uh, underneath the slide where you come out from the slide and it would have been really um, lucrative areas to search. That being said, once I put all of my equipment away to film and just focused on the task at hand, I was able to uh, make some really good recoveries. I have no doubt in my mind that there is a lot more coinage to find in this area at